Nurse Champions! Hello world! It's me again, Nurse Nizel, and welcome back to my channel! So you know what it means, right? We're going to do implementation station. This video is solely for demonstration purposes as interpreted by the actor based on her understanding of the specific skill with reference to the Royal Marston Manual of Clinical Nursing Procedure, 10th edition. All information presented are public domain materials accessible through the relevant governing organization's websites. Sabo similitude may be noticeable, however, this is not intended to be definitive guide to the NMC Part 2 test of competence or the OSCE examination. This can be a helpful material for overseas or internationally trained nurses to learn and adapt to the UK clinical settings and transition effectively into practice. So guys, implementation is part of the API. Assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. In the implementation station, you will be administering only oral drugs for the patient. You will have to verbalize everything that you're doing in this section. And guys, I will show you how it's done. Okay? You need to have some knowledge about commonly used drugs or medication which is given orally. This includes their side effects, their contraindication, and their actions. You have to do this skill within 15 minutes. Oh yeah, don't forget this, just an important tip. Always keep in mind the patient's drug allergies and reaction, the medication that was already given, oxygen therapy, IV therapy, and the like. So nurses, in giving medication, you have to remember these five R's. First, right patient, right medication, right time, right dose, and right route or route. <laughs> you will fail if you cause any intentional harm to your patient. So be careful nurses, okay? If you fail to check the allergy status of the patient, that's a fail. Also, if you make any drug errors, that's also a fail. Furthermore, if you fail to document correctly, fail to accurately sign, date and time the prescription that's again a fail that's also a fail if you didn't wear the appropriate ppe but before we head into it please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel also if you want to get notified just in case i post more oski videos then hit the notification bell all right oh yeah please do comment down below what videos you want me to do next all right so here's the video enjoy I am going to read the prescription first. By the way, we have different kinds of prescription charts in the implementation station, depending on the setting and scenario. Please learn all of them. This is an example of a prescription chart in the implementation station in the hospital setting. This is the most common one. Robin has settled a little. He has had some breakfast and is less breathless than on admission. He requires his prescribed medication. Please administer and complete the documentation of his 6 hours medication in a safe and professional manner. Remember this. Talk to the person. Verbalize what you are doing and why. Read out all the chart and explain what you are checking giving, not giving, and why. Complete all the required drug administration checks. Complete the documentation and use the correct codes. Correct codes are on the chart and on the drug trolley. Check and complete the last page of the chart. 
you have 15 minutes to complete this station, including the required documentation. Complete all sections of the documentation. Okay, assume it is today and the time is 6 in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands using the six steps of hand washing. First, I'm going to wet my hands. Get some soap. With five backward and forward stroke from palm to palm. Right palm over the left torso and vice versa. Fingers interlaced. Fingers interlock. Rotational rubbing of the thumb. And vice versa. Rotation rubbing of your finger clasp. And rotation rubbing of the wrist. Rinse it thoroughly with water. And then pat it dry with clean towels. Dispose it in the domestic bin. Pat it dry. And again, there you go. That's how you wash your hands using the six steps of hand washing according to the World Health Organization. Miss Examiner, do I have to wear PPE? Yes. Okay. Just wearing my apron. Now I'm ready to go to the patient. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Nurse Giselle. I'm going to be your nurse for today. Oh, hi, Nurse Giselle. Are you alright? I am okay. Yeah. Well, I am here to give you your due medication if that's alright with you. Yeah. Okay, so um, before anything else, all right, would it be okay if I just have a look at your ID, if that's all right? All right. Okay, can I have a look and touch yeah. you? At this point, I'm going to compare the wristband of the patient against my prescription. All right, can you tell me your full name, please? Robin Good. Robin Good, and your date of birth? 1st of the 2nd, 1956. 1st of the 2nd, 1956. Your hospital number is... N one 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 two 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 and one 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 two 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 and I can see that you're wearing a red wristband. Do you have any allergies to food, medication, or latex? Yeah, I'm allergic to penicillin. Okay, what kind of allergic reaction you get from penicillin? I got rashes. Rashes. Okay. Aside from your wristband, your document or your chart also stated that you are allergic to penicillin with an allergic reaction of rashes. Don't worry, Robin. I'm not going to give you any medication that contains penicillin, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can I just ask, what do you want me to call you? Just call me Robin. Okay, Robin, are you comfortable sitting like that? Do you want me to reposition you or anything? No, I'm okay like this. Do you have any pain at all? Yes, I got pain. Where is the location of the pain? On my chest. On your chest? Oh, so sorry about that. Can I just ask? From 0 to 10, 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst, can you please rate the pain? Around 3? Around 3, so it's a it's a mild pain, yeah? Just mild pain, yes. Okay, um, anyway, I'm gonna be preparing the medication. Do you want some pain relief? Um, yes, please. Okay, I'll prepare it. Let me just check your prescription. If not, I will ask the doctor to prescribe you one. Is that alright? Alright, thank okay. you. Okay, so, um, Robin, I'm just gonna go and prepare your medication. In the meantime, if you need anything, please ring the call bell, okay? All right, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I'm just gonna remove my gloves. This bin. Turn my hands. And let it dry for 30 seconds. I'm gonna prepare now the medication. This medication is for Robin Good. Date of birth is 1st of the 2nd, 1956. Hospital number is N111222. Ward is cardiology ward. Date of admission today. Um, the height is 5'3. The weight is 70 kilograms. Body surface area is 1.80. The consultant is Dr. W. Smith. And the time of admission is 5. Okay, there's the 
Okay? So again, the prescriber's name is Dr. Willa Smith. GMC NMC number is 432432. There's a prescriber signature and the blip number is 143. Going into the allergies or alerts, uh, sensitivities and adverse reaction to the patient. The patient is allergic to penicillin and the effect is rushes. So again, the signature is of the prescriber is here, blip number, and the date is today. Flipping the page for the next one. The information of the patient is correct and complete and the same as the first page. Um, so these are all the codes. I get the once only medicine, pre-medication, antibiotic, prophylaxis in the patient group direction. There is no medication here. Again, it's this it's for the same patient, Robin Good. Prescribe oxygen. Miss examiner, what's the oxygen saturation of the patient? 98%. 98%. So I'm not going to do anything because the patient's oxygen saturation is within range. Flipping the page. Okay, the information uh, is complete and the same as the first page. Uh, it's still for Robin Good. Antimicrobials, I get first drug, amoxicillin. The date is today, 500 milligram QDS orally for 7 days. The start date is today. Finish date is up to 7 days. There's a prescriber signature, Dr. Willa Smith, and a blip number 143. Printed name is here. So it is due, but I'm not going to give it because the patient is allergic to penicillin and the prescription is wrong. Okay, I get no medication here and uh, nothing farther. Keep in the page. Again, this prescription is for Robin Good. The information of the patient is correct and complete. Regular medicines, I got here the first drug by Soprolo for today 1.5 milligrams OOD. Uh, orally, it's ongoing. The start date is today. Finish date, again, like I said, it's ongoing. The prescriber signature and blip number is present. And the uh, prescriber's printed name is there. So, it is due because the due time of the medication is 6. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare it. But before anything, before I prepare this, Miss Examiner, what's the blood pressure of the patient? 150 over 90. 150 over 90. Okay, I'm gonna dispense this one. Are we going to use a disposable tray? Yeah. Okay. Let me just tilt my hands. Let it dry for 30 seconds. Since the examiner asked me to wear PPE from the beginning, so I will wear PPE. Okay? But you have to remember, you will only wear PPE if the examiner tells you to do so. If not, gel your hands and prepare the medication that you need to prepare, okay? By Soprolo, 1.25 milligram. So I got here by Soprolo, 1.25 milligrams. 25 milligrams comparing it with the prescription tablet expiration date is 20th of the 9 2029 i'm gonna get one of this okay so i'm gonna get the pot this is an antihypertensive medication this is to lower blood pressure side effect is hypotension i will tell the patient not to drink alcohol whilst taking this medication the next one is Firuzimide for today, 40 milligrams once a day, orally, ongoing medication. The start date is today, finish date is 7 days. There is no prescriber signature and there's no blip number, although the signature printed name is there. So uh, I will not give this, Miss Examiner, because this is an incomplete prescription. I will ask the prescriber or the doctor to review this medication and re-prescribe if needed. Proceed. I'm gonna go ahead with Atenolol. Um, again, today, 50 mg once a day, orally, again, ongoing. The start date is today, finish date, like I said, it's ongoing. There's a prescriber signature and printed name, Dr. Willa Smith. Although, it doesn't have a blip number, so again, this is an incomplete prescription. I'm not gonna give this as well. I will ask the prescriber or the doctor to review this medication and re-prescribe if needed. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next page. And this prescription is for Robin Good. The information of the patient is correct and complete and the same as the first page. So as required medication or the PRN medication. The first drug is paracetamol, one gram for today, 46 hourly, orally. The start date is today. 
and there's a prescriber signature and a blip number 143. The prescriber's uh, printed name is present. So since the patient is complaining of pain uh, with a numerical pain score of 3 out of 10, I'm going to give the patient some pain relief, okay? Action of this medication is analgesia or painkiller. Side effect, hepatotoxic. So I got here paracetamol, 500 milligram tablet. Expiration date is 12 of the 12, 2029. Let me compare it with the prescription, paracetamol. Okay, so I'm gonna get one. So medication should be uh, put or placed on a separate pot. So I'm gonna put it here. I get two tablets because one tablet is equivalent to 500 milligrams and the patient is prescribed with one gram. I dispense two tablets, two tablets of 500 milligrams equivalent to one gram of paracetamol because I can see that the patient weight is 70 kilograms. Guys, remember this. Always take into consideration the patient's weight. If it's less than 50, then don't give one gram of paracetamol. Have your doctor re-prescribe it again. Continuation. Um, there's no other PRN medication. Flipping the page. Again, this prescription is for Robin Good. The information of the patient is correct and complete. There's no IV infusion. So I get the medication, I'm ready to go now to my patient. Okay, like I said, if you're not wearing PPE before approaching the patient, gel your hands. Since I'm wearing a PPE and the examiner told me to do so from the beginning until the end, so I'm gonna go straight to the patient. Hi again, uh, Robin. Oh, hello. So here, here are your medication. Can I just ask first, are you able to swallow? Yeah. Okay, so before I give it to you, would it be okay if I just check your ID again? Okay. Okay, let me just compare it with my prescription. Can you tell me your full name, please? Robin Good. Robin Good. And your date of birth? 1st of the 2nd, 1956. And I can see that your hospital number is N111222 and N111222. Um, can you tell me, do you have any allergies to food, latex, or medication? I'm allergic to penicillin. So I can see that you're allergic to penicillin because you're wearing a red wristband and it's also in my documentation. What kind of allergic reaction do you get from that? Rashes. Rashes. Okay, the same. All right. Noted. So I'm not going to give you any penicillin derivatives, okay? So, um, all right, Robin, I get here your tablet. Let me just quickly check, okay? So you're supposed to have a medication called amoxicillin. But since you're allergic to penicillin, I'm going to ask the doctor to check this one and prescribe a new one, okay? Okay. All right. So, your next medication is bisoprolol. And um, according to your latest blood pressure, it's 150 over 90. So, you're all right to take it? Yeah. Okay, here you go. And I can see that you get some water in there. Please take it. This will maintain your blood pressure, but be careful because this will also cause hypotension. This should not be taken with alcohol. All right, thank you, Robin. Have some water. So the next medication you got here is the furosemide. So this is your water pill, but I will ask the doctor to re-prescribe this one, okay? Just make sure to check the prescription. The next one is the atenolol. Again, I will ask the doctor to re-prescribe this one, okay? Is that all right for you? Yeah. Okay, so since you complained of pain a while ago, with a numerical pain score of 3 out of 10, so I get here your paracetamol. Are you happy to take it? Yeah. So I get here two tablets of 500 milligrams because you're allowed to have one gram, okay? okay? Are you happy to take them? Yeah. Okay. This is your pain relief, but be careful because this also can cause liver damage. Um, Robin, have you swallowed the medication? Can I have a look? Yeah, I did already. Okay, thank you so much. Are you alright? Yes, I am. Are you comfortable? I am comfortable. Robin, would it be okay? Can I just document what medication I gave you? Yeah, sure. That's alright. Then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, all right. nurse. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna dispose everything that I've used. They are all disposable, so I'm gonna dispose it in the clinical waste bin.
Okay, just gonna gel my hands and let it dry for 30 seconds. Let me just document the medication that I've given to the patient. First is to write your candidate name. If you see this, please put your full name. Flip the page. So, as you can see, again, full name. Base Cardiology Ward. Flip the page. Nothing. Flip the page. Nothing. Flip the page. So, this is the problem. Amoxicillin is due, but we're not supposed to give any of it. So, we're gonna go to the code. What is the code? So, this, guys, is the code. So, I said a while ago that the patient is allergic what code can be put in there what code is appropriate to that one other yeah everybody agreed okay so i'm gonna put 10 okay so i'm gonna put the code 10 and then signature all right nurses recently the nmc changed it again Previously, what we normally do, if, if we're not going to give it, we normally put the code, the date, and the signature. But now, just put the code and your signature if you're not giving it. Again, put the code and the signature. That's it. Next page. Bisoprolol. Again, it's due. Did I give this? Yes, I did. So, I'm going to put signature. Next one, furosemide, again, it's due, but I did not give this because there's no prescriber signature and a blip number. So, what is the code? What is the appropriate code? This one, 6, because it's a prescription is incorrect and unclear. Okay, now for atenolol, it's the same because there's no blip number. Okay, flip the page. Paracetamol. Did we give paracetamol? Yes, I did. So I'm going to put the time and the signature. Anything else? Nothing more. Okay, as you can see here at the last page, it says here, omitted doses of medicine coded 10, 10 meaning others, and delayed doses. So, we're going to put here those medications that we have omitted. What was the first one? First one is we omitted amoxicillin. Okay. Okay. First of the third, 23, amoxicillin. Not applicable, not given, patient is allergic to penicillin. There you go. That's my first one. Next, next one is furosemide. Next one, atenolol. Okay. 
Okay, Robin, uh, I've just finished documentation. Let me just tell my hands and let it turn for 30 seconds. So, Robin, are you comfortable there? Yes, I am. Do you have any pain at all? I I'm alright now, nurse. Okay, do you have any question for me? Any concerns at all? If you need me, okay, don't forget, ring your bell, yeah? Alright then. Okay, thank you for today. Let me just tell my hands before leaving the patient's side and let it turn for 30 seconds. Then after this procedure, I'm gonna wash my hands using the six steps of hand washing. And that's the end of the implementation station. So how did you like it, guys? That's how easy the implementation station is. You just have to safely administer the medication. Also, you will fail this station if you fail to administer regular medicines without a valuable reason. That's why you have to make sure that you know the medication codes. Don't worry, I'll make another video for you to remember the medication code. Tip for that one, do not memorize it. You don't have to memorize it because every drug chart gets its own medication code, okay? You just gotta make sure that you are familiar with all of it, okay? Alright, so again guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel so I'd be more inspired to make more videos like this. Also, comment down below what other videos you want me to do, okay? Oh yeah, if you want to get notified just in case I post more videos, then hit the notification bell right over there. This has been Nurse Cell. See you on the next one. Bye!